What's going on, guys? It's Kiba. Welcome back. Are you guys sick of using SMM, messing around with it, just to switch maps, closing your game, or going back to the apartment, replacing the Brooklyn map? You sick of all that? I got a perfect mod for you. I'm going to show you how to install it in this video. And if you're a mapper, I'm going to show you how to add your map to support it. So all these files are available in the illusory discord where just for ease of use of this video i'm gonna have them all linked down below in the description of this video you come over to the illusory discord into the tools section of the discord and you scroll to the bottom you'll see a post by chewy custom map select menu uh you download the file here you don't need to worry about this i'll explain this later but you can read it if you want to but go ahead download the google drive link right here you'll see it says here maps won't appear in the menu unless they have an icon i've already made all the icons that you guys need it supports 100 plus maps so go ahead and download the icons from this google drive link as well and then if you read here it says i recommend also installing chewy's map switcher so you can go back to default maps for modded ones so click on this blueprint link right here and you'll see this post by blitz Cal adds the map switch feature to existing custom maps requires the blueprint mod loader download this as well you can just download it straight from illusory and if you don't have the blueprint mod loader already installed like if you don't use the physics menu you can download that just by scrolling up at, to any of travis posts and you'll see any of his posts say requires chewy's blueprint loader and you could just click on that and you could download the blueprint loader right there from his google drive link and again all of these are going to be down below in description just for easy use of this video but they are available publicly in the illusory discord okay so now we have these four files here and we're going to install them in session mod managers gear section one by one in a very specific order so first we're going to take the bp mod loader if you didn't have this already installed this is only if you didn't have it installed if you already have this installed because you use a mod like the physics menu you don't need it next we're going to want to install the custom map select menu next you're going to install the icons and then finally you're going to install the map switch now once you have all those files installed just make sure in session mod manager your default map is new york and you can start the game from session mod manager or you can start it from steam now when you first launch the game you might think something's wrong with your game because you see nothing but a black screen don't panic your game's loading it takes a minute to load depending on the amount of mods you have installed especially if you have bigger maps installed okay so the last map i played was the school map but to activate the map switcher the first thing you want to do is get off your board and then you can press either left or right on the d-pad and if you did everything correctly your maps will appear in this list now you see i'm in the barracks and from the barracks i could just go to another map And at any time, because I have the map switch mod installed, you should be able to just go back to any of the default maps or the DLC maps that you want. So yeah, that's game changing. What do you think of the fit? We out here testing mods. Oh! And to think like there's more maps because we lost so many maps like just over the updates Oh, come on. That was so clean. Oh, this tray overcooked. I appreciate it, prop. 
That was not clean. Dang. Five forty flip, let's go. Got robbed. All of that. I, I, I had to download all these maps to like make the icons and make sure they work. Works with the stick too. That's cool. Power flip back tail. Oh, I got you. Uh, we double flipped out. I don't want to double flip out. Thanks for the land, but I don't want to double flip out. That's better. Make it. Hey, there we go. Oh, what the fuck? Get on music. 
I wonder when this next session update is coming out. Glad well, we're finally getting that bounce glitch fixed, buddy. Get old music. Get old music. Oh, that was a good laser. Ooh. Oh my god, that was sick. <laughs> like even like uh, uh, like all the hours I played. But to be fair, true stance wasn't a thing until like 1.0. But yeah, true stance fucks me up so hard, but shit, dude, that was tight. We like stomped it. Like stomped it into the front board. That was sick. What's up, B calf? How you doing? Clean nose grind. Oh. Nope. Dang. All right. New spot. Oh, nice. I was clean. <laughs> okay so if you're a map maker who wants the map to be supported with this mod or if you're just some regular guy who's trying to add support to a map that isn't supported you're going to need two things you're either going to need photoshop or gimp whichever one of those gimp is a free version of photoshop i, uh, I think and you're also going to need unreal engine version 4.27.2 so first thing you want to do is come into Photoshop or GIMP and make a canvas that is 400 by 600, 400 width, 600 height. So next you want to grab a screenshot of your map and import it. Get it looking how you want. Okay, so you want to save this as a specific file name. So the name of the icon has to have the same name as the UMAP file name. So when we save it, I'm just gonna copy the direct name from the UMAP file and I'm gonna put it as center square. And this is very important. You want to put underscore capital I C O N and then you wanna save it just like this. UMAP file name underscore icon with the capital I. You save it as a PNG. So the next step, you just want to open Unreal Engine. So Unreal is going to open and you want to click games in the new projects category, hit next, make sure a blank is selected, um, make sure you have no starter content and then hit create project. Now that you're in engine, take your icon that you made before and you can just drag it directly into the gray space here. Click on the icon and then click save all, then click save selected. Next, we want to click on file, cook content for windows, and you're going to hear a chirp once your content is done cooking. 
So once your icon's done cooking, by default, it's going to be saved in your documents under Unreal Projects. You're just going to go to my project and whatever project number you have. Mine is 47. I'm going to go into the save folder, cooked, go into Windows No Editor, go back to my project 47 again, click on the content folder, and here you will have two files and you need both these files so we can get rid of the rest of this we don't need the rest of that so next you want to open your session content folder as a shortcut in session mod manager you can just right click on any map and click open content folder now that we're in our session content folder we're going to want to open custom maps and look for the icons folder this is where all your icons are stored for the custom map switcher mod if you don't have an icons folder you can just go ahead and create an icons folder so we're just going to go ahead and drag all of our icons into this folder and that's how you install them manually now if you're a modder you can also figure out how to package this up along with your map so that when people download your map they can download one file and it will automatically support it but i'm sure you guys are smart enough to mod the game you can figure out how to package your icons into your map folder so yeah that's it for this video guys hit the like button and subscribe if you're new especially if you like this video and you think this mod is awesome shout out to chewy thank you so much to him it's really really awesome that we finally got a way to just switch between maps extremely easily without having to close our game or go back to the apartment that ah man i love it i love it like like once you have it installed it's just so great being able to just switch to any map you want to on the fly is absolutely phenomenal shout out to chewy again catch you guys in the next video peace